Despite recent unexpected job growth this summer, several businesses still trying to keep, uh, uh, to keep employees, and that impacts you, especially if you like to eat out. So we sent our Ben Nandy to check out a popular Hudson Valley social spot where many restaurants and bars are pretty much begging for a motivated employee or two who can put them back on track. Harry's Burritos is one of many restaurants on Nyack's main drag with staffing issues so bad they have to change hours, change menus, and even just shut down sometimes. Longtime employee Stella Rosario tells me one sick call can do them in for the whole day. Nobody came to work. They say, no, we can, we can, so hmm. we have to close on Sunday and that's bad for the business. Several restaurant managers around here tell me the problem is still the same. They hire people, put them through training, and welcome them to the team. Then those employees just end up leaving a few days later. Osorio says they've had about 12 employees who left in that fashion over the last year. We always hire in person. We need uh, someone for the counter. We need us help with the servers too. And then we have... Just down the street at Cavos Grill, owner Eleni Karam Pimperis tells me they have managed to keep a full staff of 15. She says good pay, good hours, and incentives are important in this climate. Such as free meals, free drinks, you know, whatever they want. You know, we treat them nice, we treat them like family. I think they came to shore for that. <laughs> Server Caitlin Smahai says she stayed working here for two years because it fits her schedule and she saves money on food with those limitless free meals. Everyone here is so great. Um, I don't know, I would just like everyone here. We're all like a family. Um, it's gonna make good money, obviously. <laughs> Assembling a team like this is difficult, though. I dropped in on 12 eateries in Nyack. Cavos is just one of three who said they're fully staffed. Owners of some of the short staffed restaurants say they're about to have another setback when their summer employees leave town for college. So hours, menus, and services are likely to keep changing. Ben Nandy, News 12.